wonderful good morning guys from Dampasar Bali and today is a day where many of you guys have been waiting for for very long I'll be flying Garuda Indonesia an airline you have requested me to fly for so long and today is finally happening so I fly from Dampasar to Jakarta and then I connect to Singapore both on the Airbus A330 and both trips in economy class I bit on an upgrade it didn't work because uh, the flight the first flight is completely booked out but as any airline the economy class product is what defines them uh, the most so I can't wait they're one of the best airlines in the world considered they had a bit of a struggle these days but yeah I can't wait to show that product to you so let's do it So and if you happen to fly business class domestically, they also offer a lounge here. Or if you use Sky Team, uh, Garuda Indonesia is part of the Sky Team. So if you have a status, Ally Plus, you can use uh, that lounge as well. So according to the seat map, the flight is full, but at the gate there was just a handful of people. So I reckon this flight probably comes from somewhere uh, outside of uh, Indonesia and then it picks up both kind of passengers, transit passengers and uh, domestic passengers because the gate is literally in between the international terminal and the domestic terminal as you can see. So and welcome on board the Airbus A330 which comes in a 242 configuration which is pretty um, standard for an Airbus A330. Um, apparently you have in-flight entertainment, yes you do. Also the leg room seems to be a very alright crew, crew said hello, that's all I can say so far. Um, and uh, yeah. The color is a bit different for Captain Brown, but um, so far for an Airbus A330 on a domestic flight, it seems to be top notch. So with the in-flight entertainment it doesn't look too like overwhelming and the responsiveness of the screen isn't the best so I have to push very firm and luckily there is nobody sitting in front of me otherwise I would like keep on pushing him. 2025 movies. It's all right. Um, comes with headphones and a remote control, which is kept in the in the armrest.
so we made it to Jakarta and I'm going to transfer now to my international flight. So this was considered domestic flight and now I continue on the same airplane uh, to Singapore. So they have that special line for upgrades to business. So let's see whether they have a good deal available. Uh, it's always a good idea if you want to upgrade from economy to business to ask at the counter because sometimes they have very good deals for just like $100. So let's see what they have. So personally, I always enjoy coming to Jakarta. It's a quite nice airport. The only thing I don't get here in Jakarta is why it's always so hot in the terminal building. Um, and uh, talking about my first flight, wondering what is the fairest way to judge Garuda? I think the fairest way to judge them is by their five-star status. They claim to be a five-star airline, so I do expect five -star, a five-star product, right? A five-star experience from check-in to disembarking. And uh, let's start with the crew. They weren't anything five stars. They weren't like nice, but they weren't like anything outstanding nice. You know, I had better crew and Ryanair or EasyJet, for example. So there wasn't much of hospitality which came across. Um, food was great. I liked the food. It was chicken rice. And considering it's a 90 minute domestic flight, show me another airline that does that. That was, that was pretty decent. In-flight entertainment as well, like 25 movies, is this 5-star, while Emirates has like 5,000 movies and they're 4-star. Um, that is absolutely uh, not satisfying. Um, so overall, I wasn't, I wasn't too impressed, to be honest. Um, I flew Garuda probably, what was that, 8 years ago, and it was really an amazing, an amazing product. On this flight right now, I would say it was alright, it was good, it was decent, but it was definitely not 5 star. That is for sure. Um, let's see what the next flight has to offer. Um, and then uh, I can give it a bit of a more, like more of a conclusion, what Garuda was all about for me. Alright, now I still have, I have like, like 2 hours, 2 hours, 3 hours to kill. And then uh, we continue our journey to Singapore. So you definitely have some beautiful tarmac views from uh, the airport here in Jakarta. Um, half an hour when we start uh, boarding my flight to Singapore uh, once again. Economy class, a very last row. Again, I just love to sit in the back. <laughs> it always gives you those two or three minutes where you have the cabin to yourself and where it's not too awkward to speak into the camera and to introduce the product. <laughs> uh, that's the tips and tricks if you are a vlogger. Uh, because once somebody is sitting next to you, you cannot speak into, into the camera because they just get annoyed and you don't want to piss anyone off. And it's a bit weird <laughs> sometimes as well. So let's do this. Let's see what Garuda has to offer on flight number two. Malaysia Airlines. If you haven't seen my Malaysia Airlines review, take number two. Go check it out right now. If there's anyone watching from Jakarta International Airport, any representative, general manager, whatever, why is it so hot inside here? It makes no sense. That's the hottest airport I've ever experienced. You gotta work on your air conditioning, guys. So very chaotic boarding scenes here, doesn't really have a system, um, however everybody seems to be rushing to get on board and especially to Singapore, but yeah, let's go and uh, discover it. I think it's an Airbus AT3200 now, on my flight before it was a Dash 300, so let's see.
literally the longest walk ever. But um, Garuda Indonesia is actually a very vlogger friendly um, airline again because they had an incident with a local vlogger which went viral. Um, you should check that out as well. But yeah, there's no issues with filming on Garuda, just FYI. So there we are, last row for me, once again. Um, there's also a recline here, considering it's the last row. 100% um, identical, the product. Got a screen right in front of here. What I also discovered, there's a USB slot under the seat, um, but no power outlet. It's a Dash 200, it's a little, uh, a little shorter, but um, pretty much the identical. 100% the same to uh, what I've flown for. I don't know whether they use this on international flights, but you can let me know in the comment section below. But I think this is where they use the 777s, right? So there is one thing I've noticed is um, pillows. So if there's one thing I find very exciting uh, about economy class traveling is that you never know who ends up sitting next to you. It's like a lottery. Sometimes you end up with very nice people, sometimes with stinky people, sometimes with annoying people. Um, how do you think about this? Does that excite you as well? Let me know in the comment section below. So I'm on So to summarize my experience with Garuda Indonesia, I'm going to be a little bit harsh here because if you spend a lot of money on a five-star hotel, whether it's the Ritz, the Four Seasons, you name it, you expect nothing less than five stars, right? Imagine you check in at the Ritz and you get a holiday in. Um, and that's what I felt with Garuda, kind of, because they heavily promote and advertise uh, themselves as a five-star carrier. So they put themselves on the same level like Qatar, EVI and all the other uh, brilliant Singapore Airlines, uh, five-star airlines, where they're nowhere near. Um, so if they would say, hey, we're not five-star, we're four, three-star, and the prices are quite steep as well, I would be totally fine. But given this fact, I must say that I wasn't mind blown by Garuda um, that was it wasn't it wasn't sensational you know it was nowhere um, what they claim to be um, so that's my conclusion on them uh, it's their choice but I think uh, they either improved their service um, they train their stuff accordingly they upgrade their hardware their seats their in-flight entertainment or on the other hand they say okay we stop uh, promoting the scam tracks uh, rating of five star which would make their life so much easier anyways that's it for today's review um, I hope you enjoyed it I finally did fly Garuda Indonesia it was requested therefore please give me a like let me know in the comment section below what you think am I too critical or is my point of view justified uh, let's uh, find out in the comment section below um, yeah thank you so much for watching and guys where are you off to have a safe trip